Global Rights Group, Amnesty International, has released the timeline of the October 20, 2020 shootings at the Lekito Plaza. Amnesty, we stated last week that at least 10 persons were killed at the toll gate, detailed the events leading to the incident and warned the authorities against the cover-up. This is contained in a statement titled, Nigeria, authorities must stop attempts to cover up Lekki toll gate massacre. New investigative timeline. The timeline released on Wednesday, October 28, 2020, collects photographs and video footage to confirm that Nigerian army vehicles left Boni Camp, a military base approximately a seven minute drive from the toll gate at 6.29 p.m. local time on October 20. Amnesty said its international crisis response experts investigated and verified social media videos and photographs that confirmed the Nigerian security forces were present at the Lekki toll gate when the shootings occurred, as opposed to an earlier statement by the Nigerian army. The group said at 6.29 p.m. local time in Lagos, two military vehicles were filmed leaving Boni camp on videos shared on social media. Amnesty said later, footage shows four vehicles with flashing lights in a convoy and they appear to be vehicles used by the Nigerian military and police. The same vehicles head east along Ozumba Mbadiwe Avenue, which changes its name to the Lekki Ekbe Expressway in the direction of the Lekki toll gates. On this route, the vehicles pass several international embassies and consulates, including the Japanese Embassy and the Australian High Commission. Further, photographs and footage capture the vehicles arriving at the toll gates before the peaceful protest is disrupted by men in military uniform and gunfire is heard. As night time descended, protesters continued to film and share videos of the shootings. Later in the evening, videos of the victims were also shared on social media. Amnesty said approximately 6.45 p.m., the Nigerian military opened fire on the hashtag NSTARS protesters who were peacefully calling for an end to police brutality. Country director of Amnesty International, Osai Ojigo, said what happened at the Lekito Gate has all the traits of the Nigerian authorities pattern of a cover-up whenever their defense and security forces committed unlawful killings. Ojigo said, one week on, the Nigerian authorities still have many questions to answer. Who ordered the use of lethal force on peaceful protesters? Why were CCTV cameras on the scene dismantled in advance? And who ordered electricity being turned off minutes before the military opened fire on protesters? The initial deniers of the involvement of soldiers in the shooting were followed by the shameful denial of the loss of lives as a result of the military's attack against the protesters. Many people are still missing since the day of the incident, and credible evidence shows that the military prevented ambulances from reaching the severely injured in the aftermath. Amnesty called on the government to bring to justice those behind the shooting and to protect those who are exercising their right to freedom of assembly. The organization is still investigating the shooting and the reported removal of bodies of those killed by the military in an attempt to remove evidence, it said. The presidency, however, promptly dismissed the claims. Mr. Femi Adeshino, Special Advisor on Media and Publicity to President Muhammadu Buhari, said while appearing on Channels TV on Thursday morning, October 29, Amnesty International is wrong. They don't have all the facts. They don't run this country. So they shouldn't know beyond what they have been told. Amnesty International should do its job, but it's the duty of Nigerians to look at what they have said, whether it's justifiable or not. The Nigerian army had initially denied any intervention but released a statement two weeks after, saying that it intervened on the invitation of the state governor, Mr. Babajide Sonwolu, but that there was no shooting. 
Sangolu on his part has insisted that there was shooting by the army but denied inviting them to dislodge the unarmed youthful NSAS protesters. A judicial panel of inquiries set up by the governor is already investigating the matter. It has six months to complete its assignments. From Lagos, this is Tina Timothy, News Express Nigeria Television.